Hello, my loved ones. Hi. I hope you all have a good Sunday. And I hope you some you can hear me. Because look, my microphone just just broke. But I but I but I thought you know what I'm just gonna try it. So let me know if you can hear me because as I said my microphone my microphone just 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 broke. So, but I thought the devil cannot get me down. I was planning to do a live today, so I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. Good morning, my dear ones. Oh, I'm so happy you can hear me. Thank you, thank you, Melina. Thank you so much. So I hope you all have a have a good Sunday. Um, and uh, yeah, just let me know what you are doing today and how you are feeling today. And I'm. Uh, I hope I hope you are all doing well. For the people who are wondering, this is a cup of of um, of Maria Bernadette from Lourdes, and um, I, my mom she she bought this cup for me as. As a, as a present oh thank you all so much for everybody who's letting me know that, that you can hear me so i had a really good day i went to mass today and i um and, and um i went to mass and then i came i came home i had an i had a very nice lunch because i am trying now to um uh, i'm trying now to um, i was cooking today a new dish so it was good. I was um, uh, I made today like um, I was trying to cook something Thai and it it, um, it was really good. So I had a good lunch. Um, I I try always to eat warm warm um, warm warm for the lunch time if I am at home. So I had a really nice warm lunch. Um, I had some rice with some vegetables. It was it was so good. And um, uh, then uh, bec uh, uh, then then i had uh, then I, I watched something on on the youtube it was a beautiful sermon um and then uh, what else and then i i read uh, I read my book and and then i thought you know what i'm going to i'm going to do a live today because i have to in uh, because at my church today at 4:30 we have adoration so in one hour i have to go Oh, so please let me know how you are doing and how was your day and if something and um, and if and, and how are you preparing for Christmas and what are your plans for Christmas and uh, I'm uh, I'm so happy you all can hear me because now now like I think just seven minutes ago I was just make I just made a cup of tea and I thought you know what I'm gonna do a live now and then um, my microphone broke but it was like like oh the devil oh hello from new york hello from the netherlands <laughs> so but but i and i want this to be also a lesson for you my dear ones i don't know what you are going through this today but i want you to say to yourself like the devil cannot get me down like the, because the devil is always trying trying to get us down try to think you know what christina uh, today you you went you went to church you read your bible and then you want to do a live and then your camera broke your camera broke if, 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 if jesus christ loves you if god loves you how would he let your camera break but but you have to say to the devil like devil i am not impressed by this and I, then i always start to think about the about the story of job you know in the bible like everything can happen to us in our life but the devil cannot get us down because we know we serve god and we work for god so and we honor god so so everything but everything what the devil is trying to do do to you i don't know today and or today or in your life you just have to say to the devil the devil you cannot get me down like i love jesus i know, know jesus loves me and uh, whatever um so somebody is saying my my dad is just it's just gonna go uh do it <laughs> um so so let me know if you have any questions um uh, any questions but but just know that uh, god is with you like he is so with you like you have no idea you have no idea and always um and uh, because always be, because we have to know if, if we serve god and if we want to be good if we want to be good and if um, and if we want to be good in this world we know that uh, the good things we only can come can overcome by love like like if you have like a, maybe a voice on yet like maybe you are a loser and you are doing 
all these things for God. Like every Sunday you go to church, every day you go to church, every day you pray, and you, you see you, uh, um, your life doesn't change. Maybe your life could get worse, and you see the other people who don't who don't serve God. Maybe live in a beautiful home, or they get married, or they get engaged. Like like a um, couple weeks ago, or no, you you have to see, you have to know that the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar, and and he wants to he wants to get you down. But we as Christians, we never get down. We 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 always stand up. We always stand up because we know everything that we do is our picture is so much bigger. Like our picture is so much big, bigger because we know everything because we know that the heaven is watching us. Like like for example, like this broke and and uh, and. And normally I would cry. I would cry because I would think like, oh my God, now I, now I have to spend an, uh, an extra hundred euros uh, to, uh, to uh, you know, um, to, to, to buy a new microphone. But then I realized, Christina, heaven is watching you. Heaven is watching you. So, watching you. so my attitude is going to be, oh God, I thank you so much for it. For this opportunity, I'm gonna choose you over hundred um, for hundred euros. So I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna cry because I am not gonna have, have. I'm gonna try to um, to, uh, to have my emotion under control. So I'm gonna have my emotion under control because um uh, and um and and I thought I'm just gonna try it. Maybe you can hear me and maybe you cannot hear me. But you see, you can hear me. So 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 everything is well. Uh, and and now we have this beautiful moment together. So I love you all so much. So so the devil wanted to make me sad and I made a beautiful message out of this. Boom. <laughs> you know, if 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 we if we wake up, if we wake up the, uh, the devil need to be scared. Uh, the devil need to be scared because they think because the, because the devil knows knows like if if all of if if, if all of us Christians, if we get sad, if we get depressed, if, if we get feel lost, that the devil is so happy. You know why my dear one? Because then our mouth is shut. But, but but if we are happy Christians and if we believe in God and if we wake up and we say Thank you, Jesus, for this morning, for this miracle of my life. Thank you for my bed. Thank you for my shoes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, um, the, uh, the, the devil is really scared of a thankful question. Really scared of a thankful question. So a thankful question is a powerful question. That's a word for somebody. <laughs> So, I'm so happy now this happened to me, like, even if it was 500 euros, I don't care. I will pay it, I will buy it again, everything for Jesus. <laughs> so, if you have any questions, please, uh, please let me know. Let me know how I can help you. What a wonderful thing at uh, this Instagram live. Like, um, it's so beautiful. We we all get connected, like everybody from all around the world. Like, how beautiful is this, huh? This is really, this is really something really beautiful. Something that we really should be grateful for. Okay, uh, okay. As there is no questions, I'm going to continue my, I'm, I'm just going to continue to talk. And if there's any, pop any question up and I'm going to answer them. So, um. So I'm going to, uh, so every Sunday I try to go, at, uh, every Sunday I, I go in the afternoon, I go to adoration. Because for me, uh, uh, for me, if I go to adoration, uh, it's, uh, it's for me, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, I, it's like, uh, I see the adoration as, uh, as my, uh, you know, if you, you know, if you charge your battery from your phone, I feel like always when I'm there, it's like I'm charging my batteries. And sometimes I go there and I have nothing to say to Jesus. Sometimes I just sit and uh, I just, uh, I just, I just sit with Jesus because some days I say, Jesus, I cannot say nothing. I just, uh, because maybe some days I'm sad. Some days I have so many worries. Some days I have so many anxiety, but some days I just, I just want to show you Jesus, Jesus, that I'm really loyal because in the Bible says, just like um, God wants us to be loyal with the little things, so I want to be loyal with this little thing. Like every, uh, like every day, uh, every day, if there's adoration in the church, I want Jesus to know that I'm there, because um, I. I 
I want to be the first one actually because if the church doors open, I want to be there. Because in reality, my dear ones, we, we also should ask ourselves, like, if I would tell you, like, Jesus, like, 4.30, Jesus is, is in this address. I think everybody from all around the world would go there. Everybody would go there. Would go there. But, um, but if I tell you a secret, if I tell you this really little secret, like in church, in church, uh, in the tabernacle, Jesus is there. Jesus is there. I think, I think because of our Catholic faith, this is the big secret. The big secret is like Jesus is there. Jesus is there. Like, he, like that's why we are never alone. We are never alone. So I encourage you. I don't know what you are going through. And I, I know life can be really hard. I know. I live this life, you know. Let's uh, blah, 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 that. <laughs> like, I know life can be really hard. But the secret is, Jesus is there. Jesus is there. We are never alone. Never alone. So what you are going to, and and um, and I think the best thing is just to go to Jesus, like because uh, sometimes we, we ask people for advice. You ask maybe your family member or your parents or your friends or, um, but you know what? I think the uh, the best person to ask advice about our life is Jesus because he knows everything. Jesus has all the answers. He doesn't he doesn't need to use Google or uh, or this or this or this. He don't need to read a book because he has the book. He has all the answers. Like uh, and we also have to know that that if we want to become if we want to become holy, there's only one way. There's only one way, and this way is through Jesus Christ. Like there's no other way. Like I have to be so honest with you. Like there is no other way. Like there's one way, and it's Jesus Christ. Boom. I don't know. Uh, um, in your church, is there uh, is there uh, is there um, uh, do you have adoration? Because I know I'm really lucky. In my church, we have adoration. But I don't know if in your church, if there was if there was the possibility to go to adoration. I don't know if it's possible for your church because I know some churches churches there's no adoration and you cannot go to confession because they're not there are not so many priests anymore. And I'm so sorry for you if you if you are in a church who doesn't have adoration or you cannot go to confession. I'm so sorry for that because it's such a there's such a beautiful gift. This is such a beautiful gift and uh, but you have to know if you have no adoration in your church, you uh, uh, you just can go and just sit in church because Jesus is also there. You just go sit sit in front of the tabernacle and just say to Jesus like Jesus, I am here. I am here, Jesus, and I am here, and I am here, uh, and I am here uh, with all my questions, with all my doubts. But I just want to uh, just want to let you know that Jesus, I want to be really loyal to you, and I want to, I want to show you, I want to show you that uh, that, that I make space and time out of my life for you because you are so important to me like jesus i love you i am here to serve you like speak i am listening guide me and, and i will go like like I, I really encourage you to do that let me scroll if there's questions I don't see any questions so far. So I'm, I'm just going to continue. So uh, this Sunday, um, uh, uh, yes, this Sunday it was, um, we had a really beautiful, um, a beautiful homily in, in, in my church. It was so beautiful. And the, and something also really beautiful, like the, the place, the place where I go to church is also, a, is also home for the elderly people. So, uh, so, I go to mass. I go to mass with many elder people, and it's so beautiful because I think that the elder people in our community are like, uh, uh, they are so precious because they have so much wisdom. So I always, uh, I always enjoy like going to church with, with the elder people because yeah, uh, I, I I really I really enjoy their I really enjoy their faith. I really enjoy their their wisdom, and um, because uh, because um. Because sometimes in society, the elderly people they, they don't have, um, they have, they have no place. But uh, but I think that's something that we really need to share. We really need to share with them. Let me see. There's a question. Can you talk to me a little bit about status? I know I know that I know that we don't praise the status, but but I hear that 
your enemy but I hear that the enemy can put an evil spirit inside of them what are your thoughts on them your thoughts on them um, like uh, about status like I have so many status in my oh that's a really good question first of all this is such a good question such a good question because uh, and um, because there's so many confusions about that even uh, because sometimes people think like we Catholic the, we Catholics that uh, uh, that we are like really um, um, I don't know I don't know the, I don't know, the, I don't know the good word actually in English for but um I, I think it's like if I can um, uh, um like many people think that we get like that we we love our status more or um or than Jesus no it's it's first of all everything that we do is for Jesus and our status is from I have for example I have a status of Padre Pio because I have a status of Padre Pio it's like um it's like I would have like a photo of my brother Padre Pio is my brother and he and and this person he lived in and I don't believe and oh yeah this question like if the, if the enemy c c can put an evil spirit inside of them I don't believe in that I don't believe in I don't believe that the animal enemy can put an evil spirit um evil spirit in them but the thing that i always do if, if i buy a status i go to my priest and i and i and i ask my priest to um how you say it to um to bless it to bless it but i don't believe in this that enemy can um but uh but if we have a status in a house to answer your question it's not that we are superstitious no it's because because we we as catholics like um uh, we believe that um, that the saints uh, that uh, the saints are our friends and uh, the saints are, are our friends that's why we have so many saints we have so many things for, like for every problem you, you can ask a saint and it's like and it's, of course you can go direct direct to Jesus of course but uh, 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 but sometimes like like it, like if we, if we if we think um, once once the status is blessed no evil spirit can go into them yes very good uh, Ashley once the status is blessed no evil spirit can go into them but um, I want to say to example for Saint Rita like I have a beautiful status of Saint Rita and I pray every day to Saint Rita but because if I have a problem like because Saint Rita of the saint of the impossible things and so so if I'm dealing with somebody who, who is really difficult or later if I if I want to become a mom I, I, if I become a man, I ask Sindrita, I say, Sindrita, I give you this, I give you this prayer, please, 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 ask Jesus, ask Jesus, ask Jesus um, uh, that he would help me. So the saints are only there to help us to Jesus, because, but the saints are not there so that we worship them. No, because it's not about the saint. It's not about Mother Mary, it's not about the saints, it's like Mother Mary. Mother Mary is a bridge to Jesus. Like, um, like we have to know like everything that we do we do for jesus i pray my rosary i do it for jesus i pray my novena i do it for jesus i go to my pilgrim places places i do it for jesus because i know and also also if uh, for example of saint rita because she uh, because she, uh, she yeah uh, she's one of my is she's one of my favorite saints because I was the, and I was I also went to Saint Rita and if I pray to and and, and because I know Saint Rita she was holy and what I mean by holy I mean she, somebody who lived on this earth who had a God fearing heart who, who had a God fearing heart and um, so that's why if sometimes if I am a difficult if I'm a difficult situation in my life and because I know I have a friend in heaven her name is Saint Rita and she has a God fearing heart and she's scared of God because she doesn't want me to make mistakes because Saint Rita know the days come the day come I'm gonna stand in front of Jesus and I and I will explain everything to Jesus what I did what I didn't do what I say to her what I didn't say to her what I watch what I listen to so Saint Rita is my big sister in heaven so if I pray to it, if I pray my novain to it, if I um, if if I talk to her during the day, then Saint Rita she can give me why she say, Christina, I live on this earth. Christina, I I, I was married, I was a widow. Um, 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 uh, I bury my children like Christina. I've been through all these things, but there was no excuse for sin. 
There's no excuse for sin. So Saint Rita is somebody who helps me, who helps me to love Jesus more, like uh, like more because I because I look at her example, I look at her life, and I say, you know what? I wanna be I wanna be a woman like Saint Rita. I don't want to be a woman like I don't know I don't know of, of, of who is popular now on Instagram or is popular now on TV shows or is a popular singer. I don't really care about that. I don't uh, uh, or, is a, or is a beauty blogger. I I am not impressed by that. I am a Pressed by one thing if somebody has a God fearing heart and if somebody is really want to love Jesus so um, so um, so to answer your questions we as Christians we don't wor we don't worship status but but because the holy family is my family like in this earth I, I don't have family I just have a mom so I, I so my family's my family is really small but but in heaven I have such a big family so if you come to my house if if I had a big family in this earth if you would come to my house you, you would see the photo of my brother of my sister but I don't have that but but I I have, I have Padre Pio, I have Saint Rita, I have Saint Rita, I have Saint, I have Saint, uh, Saint Rufka, I have Marshapel, I have all my brothers and sisters in heaven, and uh, and in my home, in my home, I want to I want to surround myself self 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 with with my brothers and sisters. So so actually, it's something really simple and really uh, uh, really beautiful, uh, really beautiful, and just a daily reminder for ourselves. So I, I hope this will this explain explains it for you, <laughs> Melena. Thank you so much again for your for your question to give me the opportunity to um to explain this because I get so many questions about this. And um and, and also uh, also something something that really make me sad, like um like one thing if i be honest one thing one thing that, that i don't like about being a christian is i i don't like the i don't like the the how you say uh, between christians the uh, uh, the um, all the problems between christians like i i don't know there's so many different so many different Christians, but I don't understand this thing. I want for all of our Christians to come together. Because if we love Jesus, if we love Jesus, that, uh, Jesus, let's come together. Like, uh, uh, like, don't, uh, like, don't think like, I don't love Jesus because I have a picture with Mother Mary. I, I because I will pray the rosary or, um, or if I would do this, but be, because, I, because for myself, I love, um, I listen to all kinds of Christians. I like, I listen to, I listen to how you say like um, sermons of, of non-Catholics because we are all Christians. We are all Christians, and I think uh, um, uh, Saint Louis he said uh, I I don't know if I pronounce his name well. But I, I you know what I mean. This uh, Bishop Saint he said if 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 you if we read a good Christian book and this book will bring us closer to God, then it's a good book. But but I think the dangerous the danger the the danger field field that we are in like like um, no I'm not gonna re read this book because it's by the poor son no I'm not gonna listen to it because he's because he is an in I'm in in I don't know I don't know all the names so he is this no we are all brothers and sisters quite and we all should help each other we should not be scared of each other like it's so strange like sometimes I get so many I, I get so many like like messages and people say like maybe you go to hell because you have a photo of mother mary and blah blah but but how can we be scared of mother mary how can we be scared of the stomach who carry jesus like i respect you like if you are not a catholic if you have different beliefs but but, but please come together because 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 i love you i love you and if you, i love everybody but especially if you are a christian like i have something crazy for you i love you more because i know you love jesus and i know you want to serve jesus so let's come all together because because together we are strong and i feel the enemy like 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 uh, like, uh, uh the, the, the devil he really want to come between all the christians like m maybe say no m m maybe she's not the non uh she's this or she this or she wear um she wear a skirt i don't know she wear pants no we should all come together we we oh, we, we we cannot judge each other but we we need to love each other Yes, I know Christians who break their rosaries because they don't want to pray to Mother. Or 
this breaks my heart this breaks my heart this breaks my heart because because i understand if you do if 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 you are a christian if you are not a catholic and you say oh you know the rosary is a li little bit um, i don't i don't i don't believe it i don't pray with it that's okay too but please don't judge somebody else be, um, be uh, because you know what my dear wants because all because because if we pray the rosary you have to see it's it's like um um, it's like um, it's like a string to Jesus, but uh, but if you think like I don't believe that because I pray directly to Jesus, that's okay too. But you but uh, but but uh, let's not judge each other. Let let's try to learn from each other because you know something and I know something and together we are so powerful, so powerful. Uh, but something that really make me make me sad. Like even even in the Catholic Church, like church, like no, you cannot read this book. Because it's maybe uh, it's maybe um, maybe this person is a Protestant or this person is this. No, if this person loves Jesus, if this person wants to serve Jesus, then I love this person. Th then I'm going to buy this book because I want to support my brother and sister in Christ. I want to help. I want to help them I, 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 because we, we all work for the kingdom of God. So so I want to support them. And, and it's not like I don't want to be like in a Catholic, bu in a, in a, in a Catholic, Catholic bubble. Like, no, all my friends are Catholic. Uh, I don't want to have... I want to have nothing to do with, to do with other Christians. No, everybody's welcome in, in my bubble. Everybody is, is welcome. I want to be friends with everybody, especially if you are Christian like you and me. We 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 gonna be friends like if you like it or not. <laughs> so, but I just want to. I just want to. Um, I just want to. Um, um, and I just want to also speak to all our Catholics. I think we it's also our job to, to to tell people who are not Catholics to explain them like why you should not be scared why should not be scared of saint of the saint or of mother mary like uh, we should not judge them like we should not say like whatever whatever oh my god i think they're gonna go to hell because they don't pray the rosy they don't believe in Padre pio they don't believe in rita no we, we we cannot think about them like that we have to say like no this is my brother my sister but she loves god and she loves jesus i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy for her. i'm so happy i'm so happy for you i'm so happy Happy for her gift. I'm so happy that uh, so happy that, uh, that that she loves the Bible, that she loves to read the Bible. So that's why we all need to come together. And also, if you if you look around and all your friends are Christians or all your friends are Catholic, I think that's a danger because 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 uh, because Jesus said to us, "I want you to go in the world. I want you to go in the world and spread the gospel, to spread the go go gospel." Um, um, but if but if everybody around us are Catholics or Christians, no, we cannot be scared of people because because we are on this earth. On this earth, we are here with one mission: to tell as many people about Jesus, and the people they, that the people will go and baptize themselves. That's it. Um, 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 but if we live our lives, and if and if we only and if we only um, and if you only have Christian friends, and if you only go to go uh, go to Christian events, and no, I, I, I think that that's why that's why we know we do we are doing something wrong, something wrong. Because even if we look at the life of Jesus, like Jesus was, Jesus was never afraid. He was such a man of passion. But but the beautiful thing is, like Jesus would always speak the truth, but he would always do it with so much love and so much kindness. And I always pray for that. Like I always pray, like Jesus, I want to tell the truth, but I want to do it like you. I want to do it with so much kindness and so much love and um so i think that's something that we really can learn uh, learn f learn from jesus um, how we can be more more loving and more kind yes uh, yes melena you are right uh, uh, we should all lead each other to jesus christ and it, it's it's about jesus it's the uh, our, our main goal is our main goal is jesus uh, or everything every 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 day that i wake up is for jesus like everything that we do is for jesus Um, because we also have to know it's like um, like on this earth on this earth uh, we have time to to um, uh, 
to serve Jesus. But when we are in heaven, we, we, we cannot do it because then we are already with him. Like now in this, in this in my life, I can offer up so much things for Jesus. Jesus, but later when I'm in heaven, I, I cannot do that anymore. So I don't want to. I don't want you to miss this time. I don't want you to miss this opportunity. Opportunity to to. Um, uh, to offer up to, for Jesus, to uh, to give your life for Jesus, because later, because later when we are in heaven, we cannot do it anymore, because then we are already with Jesus. Let me see if there's any questions. Um, um, my friend from Russia says she loves Protestant movies and music. Me too. I uh, me too. I love uh, I love Protestant movies and music. If you have any tips for music, uh, uh, any any good Christian music or movies, please let me know down below because I love movies and I love good Christian um, music too. Somebody say, can you give me a suggestion on how to pray during during fasting? Or oh, I'm gonna make a YouTube video on this next week about fasting. So um, um, you have to watch this on my YouTube channel because uh, uh, the, the, oh, I, I I cannot wait to make this video because I love fasting. Um, but I, I love fasting. Um, I love fasting, and I know, uh, because some fasting is something so powerful. If you ask, if you, uh, um, uh, if you, are, if you ask, if you ask question, if you feel like powerless in your life, then I always suggest you to fast, to fast, to fast, uh, to fast, and to offer up things, things from God. So, but, uh, but as, but you say, give me suggestion how to pray during fasting, like. Um, um, but I, I'm, I'm gonna explain in the whole video like uh, I'm gonna make a long video about that but uh, thank you for your question uh, but uh, but uh, oh so, so, I thought something went wrong but no <laughs> I was like wait on hold up uh, but uh, but during uh, I saw Saint Faustina movie and I love it. It was very powerful. Um, may I ask what kind of movie of Saint Faustina did you see? Did you see the new movie? Because I I heard there was also a new movie of Saint Faustina. I didn't see it yet, but I saw the, I saw an old one. It was like from ten years ago. But um, but I love Saint Faustina. Yes, I love Saint Faustina. But um. Um, I, I I think I I want uh, I want to I want to buy a new 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 movie. I want to buy some couple new movies. So if somebody have a suggestion, please let me know. The new movie is in theaters. Ah yes, listen, was was it good? Yes, I thought so. Yeah, because I saw a clip on YouTube of 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 a new movie from two minutes and it was so good. So it's in theaters. Oh, I, but I live in the Netherlands. So it's not in theaters here, but I will go. Um, I will go and buy it on DVD. Thank you so much for your suggestion, and I will send you the link of my of my YouTube video about fasting. There I will, I will explain more about it because it's such a powerful, um, uh, it's such a powerful topic, and I don't have so much time to to go to go and to to really go deep deep in this in this uh, in this uh, <laughs> on this subject. It was really good. It was like a kind of document documentary. Oh, thank you so much, Melina. I I will I will definitely go and check it out in theaters. Thank you. Oh, thank you, my dear sister. I love you. Let me see if there's any more questions because I have to go uh, 10 minutes to adoration. Um, okay, so I'm going to start uh, something. I'm, um, I want to um, I want to share them very, very quick with you about fasting. Like the first time, the first time that I started to fast, it was like um, it was three years ago. Three years ago was the first time. Um, uh, of course, I am I am already seven years now Christian. But three years ago was the first time for me um, to really start fasting, like like seriously, you know. Like really, really with my heart and with my soul. Like I really want to fast for Jesus. Like I didn't want to fast because I would tell people like I'm fasting or something. But three years ago, something changed in my life, and I knew, and uh, I, I, I knew. Uh, three years ago, I knew I had to change things in my life, but and and I didn't know how to change it because I felt so hopeless in my life. 
um, I felt so hopeless and, had, um, and, uh, and then I thought like two years ago like I have to do something new Christina I have to do something new if I really want to change my life if I really want to live for Jesus if I really want to give my life if, if I really want to give my life to Jesus and if I really want to serve him that, and I, I think now is the time now is the time to fast so, uh, so I start fasting but but we can fast in so many ways. Like we can fast like with with no watching television, like uh, eating less, or no talking on the phone, with no communication. Like uh, like there's so many different ways to fast. Like uh, like um, or you can say like I'm not gonna spend like uh, any extra money. There's so many ways to fast. But but for me, if 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 I put it like in a nutshell, like if I fast, if, if I fast, like I always try like to pray more, to spend more time with God. Like if. If I'm fasting, if I'm fasting, um, then um, f uh, for example, if I'm fasting, like I'm not talking. Sometimes I fast and I don't talk. I don't. I don't talk. Uh, I don't talk on the phone. And uh, then maybe maybe during the day something happened. I have a problem. Or I don't know what to do. And then I say, you know what? Now if I would have phone, I would call somebody. But now, but now I, tr I, I try to read my Bible. So if I fast, it's like it's like I say to myself, like Christina, you, you are fasting from the world, from the worldly things. But uh, uh, but I want to grow my godly things. So if I fast, I read the Bible more. Like I I try to understand every word in the Bible. Like if there's scripture. The Bible, I don't understand. I try to Google it, or I try to order a book about it. So I really, I really want to go deep in the Bible. It's, it's like a like an onion. I, I, I really want to peel peel every layer of it. So 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 if I fast, like uh, like uh, my Bible, um, my 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 Bible is always really precious to me. But but if I fast, it's like. It's like uh, one hand, uh, one hand I have, I have my rosary, another hand I have my Bible. So I just always try to do uh, to read to read more my Bible and uh, and to um, and just to spend some extra time with God. But but doing the fasting to an, to answer your question, like um, uh, reading the Bible is something really huge for me. And to because because if uh, uh, only uh, we we only can change our heart, our mind, and our soul with the Word of God because our heart and our mind and our soul are so focused on the world on the news on 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 the news or from facebook from instagram or from all the, or from all the people but sometimes i want to clean my mind i want to clean my mind with the word of god it's like i feel like i am you know if you are in the shower and 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 uh, and, and sometimes i feel like the water all all, all only wash my hair but sometimes i feel like i want to wash like inside of me i don't know i don't know if you understand but but i feel like if i if i if i fast and if i just read the bible and if i just it's like the words come into me you know i, I hope this makes sense to you so fasting and bible goes together i hope this answers your question but as I said before, I'm going to make a YouTube video about it and I'm going to explain like uh, more about it. And I'm going to also explain the story behind it, behind it, uh, why I started, why I started to, to fast. And so I'm going to give you also some personal stories. So let me know if there's any more questions. Uh, somebody said like um, uh, the movie of Saint Rita. Yes, I love the movie of Saint Rita. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful movie. Yes. If, if, if nobody has ever seen it, I really suggest you to go to watch this movie of St. Rita. Oh, I love you, Christina. Oh, I love you too so much. And I'm going to pray for you doing adoration. Um, um, if, if you just give me your name. If you give me your name, I will pray for you doing my adoration. Uh, please mention your name in the, in, in the note. I think it's Malena. But I'm going to pray for you during the day. And I love you so much. I'm so happy you are here. I'm so happy we can connect during this life. I'm so happy that that the devil, he didn't want me to speak to you. So he want, he want to break my microphone. But I'm so happy that uh, so happy that God still connected us. Oh, Mel Melinda, I'm going to pray for you, my dear sister. I love you so much. I'm going to... So many prayers are going to come your way. You have no idea. But um, so... I'm so happy you now. Okay. <laughs> I'm like a little child. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I have um no. So I have five more minutes if there's any other question. Uh, if there's no other question, I'm I'm just gonna talk because 
I like to talk. <laughs> okay. So, um, yes, uh, um, and for the people who are wondering about the weather in the Netherlands, it's really cold today. Today we had a lot of rain. I don't know where you live and how is the weather there, but um, but here it's really cold and it's and it was raining all day. Like this morning when I went to church, like because um, I, I went to church. Um, I went to church um, and I, I, I biked to church this morning and my clothes were so wet, like I was like, <laughs> yes. So, um, 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 so, but, but then I was so happy when I came home, I could, I, I could take a hot shower. But now I hope, um, I hope the rain stops. So I, I will be, uh, it will be a little bit more, um. Uh, uh, because I don't mind if, if it's just cold, for, um, but if it's raining, because if you are if you're on a bike and it's raining, it's, it's really hard to hold on an umbrella. So, but and also the, the thing you have in the lens, you, you have like uh, uh, raincoats, uh, uh, but sometimes it's too late to wear to wear a raincoat. Um, but but I think if it's raining now, then I will wear my raincoat and I will wear my uh, my uh, rain trousers. So, um, um. Yes, so this is this. Uh, hi, hi, Gabriella. But if you are living somewhere where it's sunny, and I'm so jealous of you, and um, if if I could, um, if I could just, if I could just pick a place w w um, where I would be now, right now, like if I could just close my eyes and just say. I want to be that would be Mexico like I love Mexico and now how, what I would give to be now in Mexico in Mexico uh, with warm weather uh, really warm weather to go to the beach and to maybe eat, it, eat a good taco I would give everything and I love the churches in, the Mex in Mexico it's my favorite my favorite country in the world is like Mexico I love the people I love Mexican people because they are so kind and they are so generous and and, and, and I love them I, I don't know. I love the atmosphere there. Please let me know what is your favorite country. Like my favorite country is Mexico. And I, um, my dream is like really high on my bucket list is to, to, go, to, to go to Mexico City and also go to, uh, uh, to see Maria de Guadalupe. Uh, I, I, this is really a big dream of me. Like uh, I have like the two places where I really want to go. Like I want to really go to, to the Holy Land, of course. And then I really want to go to Mexico. I, 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 I was in Mexico, but, but I was like in Cancun. But now I really want to go to the Mexico City. And I really want to go, it maybe sounds really strange, but I really want to go to Iceland. I don't know, I really want to go to Iceland because I saw a documentary and it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful, but I don't know if the food is good because Iceland, I think the, uh, uh, the people would eat there a lot of fish and I don't like and I don't like fish so much. So I don't know if there will be a difficulty. Otherwise, I would not go because I'm a foodie. And um, so I don't know if they have really good food there. But if they have, um, if they have like real food, food like um i need i need real food i cannot just eat like like fish no i need to have so good food so um i don't know if they have it there otherwise i would really want to go to iceland so my dear ones i, ju I just want to share some random things with you it's not important um somebody says you want to go to you to the uk the uk is very beautiful and the people are so kind yeah and the good food is really good too <laughs> so i'm gonna end this live because i'm gonna go um Oh, so, oh so one second. Ashley say my dream is now to go to see uh, the Lady of Lebanon. <gasps> yes, I would love to go to Iceland too, and I hear they have really good food. <laughs> <laughs> but Ashley, uh, may I ask you something? The Lady of Lebanon. Uh, who do you mean? Do you mean like Saint Rif Rifka? What do you mean by that, my dear sister? The Lady of Lebanon. And she also really want to go to Iceland. But you say you want to go to the Lady of Lebanon. I think you mean Saint Rifka, no? Or is there somebody else that, that, that I maybe I don't know about? But Lebanon is a very beautiful country. My, my mom has been there often and the food is very good. So please let me know before I go, Ashley. Uh, and otherwise, um, otherwise you will tell me next time. But um, I love you all so much. I'm going to go to adoration. I'm going to pray for all of you. And I, and I sent you a very 
big, big, massive, massive group hug. Group hug you, sending you my love, and I will see you in my next life. Thank you so much for uh, for being here with me, and for the heart, and for the love. Oh, one second. She said, Our Lady is just like the way we, we have Our Lady uh, of Fatima. Yes, yes, f uh, oh, yes, yes, I understand, but... um. I understand, yes. Um, oh, somebody else says, Fatima is my dream to go. Fatima is so beautiful. It's so beautiful to, uh, to, uh, to go to Fatima. For me, okay. Ah, yes, I understand now. You, uh, they have a very big status of her in Lebanon. Yes, you are right, Ashley. Yes, you are right. Yes. Yes, you are right. I, I also really, really want to go there one day. Maybe one day we can all go there together. How beautiful would it be? We would be like a, a Christian girl, Christian girl trip, yeah. And uh, well, uh, my sister from, from Russia says she also really want to go to Fatima. So um, Fatima is a really beautiful place. And Portugal is a really beautiful pilgrim place. I suggest everybody to go there. And um, so, uh, so yes, you should definitely go there next, next, next time when you are in Europe, uh, Ashley. I, I really rec can we recommend you there. And the food there is really good. So I just want to share because I'm a foodie. But um, uh, but the food in the food of Fatima is so good. Port Portuguese food is very nice, very nice. So yes, uh, yes. Uh, we will pray about it and uh, and um, I love you all so much but I have to go I have to go to church Jesus is waiting for me besos